guys, welcome again to ITS, Information Technology Skills. On this video, we're going to talk about integration in Python using SciPy. First, discuss muna natin what is integration. Integration can be used to find areas, volumes, central points, and many useful things, such as computing the center of mass, center of gravity, mass movement of inertia, of a moving vehicle, calculating the velocity and trajectory of an object, predict the position of a planet, understand electromagnetism. How to compute integration? Finding an integral is the reverse of finding derivatives. For example, we have this question. What is the integral of 2x? And we know that the derivative of x square is 2x thus the integral of 2x is x square so in integration alalahan ninyo lang tong image na yan okay so the reverse of derivative is the integral or integration in integration we have this equation where this symbol yung parang f is the integration symbol or the integral symbol. Actually, hindi to F, guys. This is a stylish S. Okay? Where it indicates sum. Then, we have 2x. This is the equation or functions na gusto nating i-compute yung integral niya. These 2x are sometimes called as integrant. Then, we have dx. dx is the slice along x. Yung sagot sa equation na to, guys, is x squared plus c. So, sabi nga kanina, the integral of 2x is x squared. Saan nakuha yung c? Or yung plus c? That is the constant of integration. So, balikan natin yung image kanina. The integral of 2x Nasabi kanina is x square. Then, meron siyang mga addition numbers or kasamang mga numbers. This equation or functions, kapag sinolve yung derivative ng mga yan, it will give you 2x. Because the derivative of a constant number is 0. So, so mababaliwala yung mga constant number in computing derivative. In integration, meron tayong tinatawag na upper bound. Where the upper bound is the maximum number of x dito sa function na kinocompute. Then, meron din tayong lower bound. Now, guys, let's try to compute integration using sci-fi. So, the first example, gagamitin ulit natin yung question kanina, what is the integral of 2x? Where x is equal to 3. So, here, guys, kailangan natin gamitin si SciPy. So, ibig sabihin, import lang natin yung SciPy natin. So, here guys, meron tayo no SciPy as the library and meron siyang integrate as the sub-library. On this video guys, we're going to use quad function or class dito kay sci-fi to compute the linear integration of 2x. So, after importing yung library na gusto natin or kailangan natin, which is the sci-fi, hulikan natin tong equation na ito. So, yung 2x, guys, that is the equation that we want to get or compute yung integral niya. So, this equation, tinatawag tong function. So, pag sabihin, gagawa din tayo ng function dun sa Python program natin. So, balik tayo sa Python program. Function nyo guys, we have def, the start of function, and gamitin na lang natin yung f. So, we have here the function f, and meron siyang i-return na yung equation natin, which is 2x. So, we have here 2 times x. In computing the integral of a function gamit ang quad, magbibigay yan ng sagot and error. 
So, ngayon guys, for the integral or the answer, gagamitin natin yung variable na i. And for the error, gagamitin natin yung err. Then, this will be the quad function. So, here guys, if you're going to observe, meron tayo nung quad function natin. And inside the parameter, we have f. This is the function na nagawa natin. Hindi po siya calling of function, guys. So, ibig sabihin, isasama niya yung ginawa nating function, which is f, dito mismo kay quad. And yung lower bound is 0. And 3 will be the upper bound. So, if we're going to print this, print na lang natin yung dalawa, the i, which is the answer na na-compute niya for the integral or integration and the error. If we're going to run this program, it will give you two numbers. Okay, so the first is 9.0. This is the integral of 2x. And we have here the error. Okay, so ito po yung error niya. So, if you're going to compute or if you're going to calculate integral on your own without using your program or para malaman nyo kung tama yung kinocode nyo, you can use the integralcalculator.com to compute integration. Okay, so meron po silang calculator na pwede nyo gamitin para malaman nyo kung correct yung kinocode nung program nyo. So, ang na-compute ko po, guys, gamit ang integralcalculator.com kasi hindi ako marunong sa mathematics. That's why I use online calculator that is equal to 9. And same po yung na-compute using the Python program, which means our code or our program is correct. Let's try to have another example. What is the integral of x cubed? Where x is equal to 3. Now guys, balikan natin tong program na to at i-edit na lang natin. So to write x cubed, which means you're going to multiply x by itself 3 times. So we have x times x times x. Now gusto naman nating tanggalin yung error, ayun na natin siyang i-display. We can just omit this. And we're going to have 0 dito sa dulo. Okay? So indicating that we're not going to get the error. So print lang natin yung I lang. Then, let's try to run this program. It will give you 20.24999996. And if we're going to use integralcalculator.com, it will give you the answer 20.25. That is just the same dun sa 20.24999996. Okay? Now, let's try to compute another number ulit. What is the integral of 2x plus p? Where p is a parameter. Ibig sabihin guys, this parameter can be changed yung value niya depende po dun sa situations. Okay? So, for 2x plus p, we're going to have this equation or formula. So, the integral of 2x plus p, dx, so, in this part, the function will be f x p. Kasi, dun sa function natin kanina, ang natatanggap niya lang or ang nakakompute niya lang is the x. So, we need to tell for the function na meron siyang kailangang idagdag na p. Okay? So, for this scenario, para kay p, we can consider global variable. So, how do we do that? Balikan na dito natin tong code na to. I-edit na lang natin, guys. So, we're going to have the function 2 times x plus p. And we're going to have p as a global variable. Let's see. p is equal to 4. Dun sa quad ulit natin guys, let's say we have a lower bound na equal to 0 and upper bound na equal to 3. But this lower bound and upper bound may differ depende ulit sa mga scenario. But for this example, steady muna na ganyan. And we're going to print again yung 
integral na. So, if we're going to run this, it will give you 21.0. So, you can check this code kung tama yung dinisplay niya na answer again on the website. Another way to consider P dun sa function natin without having a global variable, you can pass to the function as argument or kay quads, meron kasi siyang pang fourth parameter which is the args kung saan pwede mong ilagay yung iba pang arguments na gusto mong ipass dun sa function. So, let's try. So, tanggalin muna natin tong global parameter natin na P and we're going to use another argument gamitin natin yung args. So, kung titignan nyo guys, we have here yung args natin kanina. And, enclosed with parentheses is the value for the p. And, kung titignan nyo dun sa function, ginamit na natin yung x, p, stating that the function will going to have another argument or parameter para dun sa p. So, if you're going to run this program, it will give you the same answer. So, this is using the argument and ito naman yung may global variable. Yan naman guys, let's have another example. What is the integral of cosine of x? Where the lower bound is 0 and the upper bound is half of pi. On this example guys, gagamit tayo ng cosine. Which means that we're going to use numpy para mas madali. And meron siyang lower bound na 0 and upper bound na half of the pi. Ibig sabihin, 3.14 divided by 2. Okay? Or gagamitin din natin yung numpy na pi. So, to better understand that, punta tayo dun sa code. So, sabi nga kanina, gagamit tayo ng cosine. Ibig sabihin, we're going to import numpy. Okay, so meron tayong numpy na library and ang pangalan niya is np. Then, papalitan natin ng function natin. Of course, tatanggalin na natin yung p kasi x lang naman yung kailangan ng function, na parameter. So, dito sa return, dito natin ilalagay yung equation natin. Okay, so dahil gagamitin natin yung numpy, we're going to call numpy np and yung function niya na cosine. Cos Okay, so uh, this is the equation. Kung nakikita nyo, meron tayong np because numpy has a library or function na gumagamit or yung kakompute ng cosine. After writing the equation or the function, nalagay na natin yung cosine of x, ilalagay muna natin yung lower bound and upper bound. Okay, so gamit na lang muna tayo dito ng variable. So, here guys, meron tayong dalawang variable, the XLO for the lower bound na meron siyang value na 0 and XUP for the upper bound, which is yun po yung half of the pi, okay? So, we have here NP that pi, it is a numpy function na ibibigay niya yung value ng pi, which is 3.14 and so on, numbers hindi ko po siya memorize, divide by 2 because it is half of the pi. Then, dun sa integral or computing the integral of the cosine of x, of course, we're going to call the quad function. Yung function na ginawa natin that will return the cosine of x. And, ilalagay natin dito yung xlo and xup. So, tanggalin natin yung mga nakalagay dito because hindi na 3 yung upper bound. So, ngayon guys, baka nagtataka kayo bakit tayo gumamit dito ng variable. O ka lang pag gumamit kayo ng variable. Kasi dito sa XUP natin or sa upper bound, meron siyang equation na half of the pi. What if mahaba yung equation mo for the upper bound? Okay? So, mas madali na ilagay mo na lang siya sa isang variable. Kung gusto nyo naman, idiretso nyo dito yung nv.pi divided by 2. O lang din yan guys. That is accepted. So, if we're going to run this program... The integral of cosine of x is 0.9999 and so on. 
if you want to display or print also the error, lagay nyo lang ulit dito sa code yung error. So, kung gusto nyo i-compute yung error, tanggalin nyo na tong zero dito. Then, dagdag natin siya sa printing. And it will give you this answer. So, ito yung integral, 0 0.999, and this will be the error.